Yo, what's up? What's up? It's the Sibana Shogun once again. We're here for another toy review. Uh, this morning I got something from the mail. It's a TW Toys Kojiro, courtesy of my good friend Mr. Dodge Labyrintho of Preorder 66. So I'm pretty stoked with this fig, excited. So let's not make longer introductions. So let's do this shit. Yo! So here's the box review. Um, he's packaged pretty well. So this is not the deluxe version. Uh, I only got the standard version, which only features a single Kojiro figure with his two swords. Uh, I think that's all. Maybe some extra hands. I think. So I'm assuming that this is the only figure that comes with the deluxe, uh, the standard figure. So let's check it out. So as expected, here is the TW Toys Kojiro 112 scale. So coming out of the box, it looks pretty good. So let's see if we take out the plastic. So yeah, amazing. Look at this. Look at his face, man. Ah, pretty accurate from the Vagabond comics. Let's go for the uh, articulation. So just like uh, just like Musashi in in my previous TW toys, uh, this is how he raises his arms uh, up to this point, and he can actually raise it up to yeah. He can do the whole circumduction thing. Uh, with the uh, clothes getting a bit in the way, so that's fine. Um, we get we get a sp we get a Kojiro to split at this point. Uh, we got the head. He can raise his. He can extend his head right up to that and flex it. And of course, 360 degrees. And he can do the whole exorcist thing. So, uh, the thing that I noticed is uh, he, he's got some cloth socks going on. That's that's nice. That's nice for at least uh, uh, it's a bit realistic now. <laughs> but either way, I, I still don't care. It's covered with all the clothes. So, yeah. You can extend his leg right up to that. You can do some kicks and all these kinds of things. But, maybe because of the joint, we can't really do the whole uh, rotate to the back thing. So, it's actually very fine. He's human after all. So, wanna siya. So, these are all his accessories. He comes with a super awesome uh, Daito. So, he's got the... Long sword and his Shoto or his Wakizashi. So let's see. Oh, he has a black blade. That's kind of odd, but it's very well made. You can even see the. Oh no, there's no Hamon, <laughs> but you can see the uh, the the ridge there. Uh, I forgot the name. This is his Shoto or his Wakizashi. So let's see. I, I'm pretty surprised with the black blade. Oh, we got a little, it's a little crooked there. So let's just adjust it a bit. You have to be very careful about that. Doing that maybe dam <laughs> we can damage his sword. So that's it for the swords. And we got a pairs of hands right here. Uh, we got the whole forearm connecting no joint there just like this uh, the same with my TW Toys Musashi 
This looks cool. And we got a pair of two more hands. Uh, two hands used for like grasping or I don't know. And two open hands. The other open hand is looking like he's yeah, he's like reaching for something. And the other head. So let's see about the other head. Oh man, this is a better one. I like how the it has like striking wind effects. But she looks better here. Oh, he really looks like the one in the manga. Vagabond. So I think that's that would be all. Uh, the clothes, man. Nicely done. The stitches and everything. Look at that. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's practically the same as my TW Toys Musashi. But I like this head better. So I think I'm going to change it. So. so hey, let's do a size comparison. So this is Kojiro. It's about that far. And we also got Musashi, the great Miyamoto Musashi. Our Ed Star is Musashi, right here. So, move the camera a bit. Our Sanada Yukimura DID Palm Hero Toys, with the armor and all. They all look good. Um, I think Musashi is the tallest one among all. And uh, about Kojiro, uh, the pros and cons of this figure is I, I, uh, the pros would be his face. I really love the way they sculpt this figure. I think the only cons that they have is I really not a fan of the black blade. It's not it's not historically accurate. But, it's pretty well made, pretty well made, it's all die cast metal, so props to TW Toys for this, but I prefer the Odachi from Nura, that Nura figure, that samurai guy, I forgot the brand, but <laughs> I think you pretty much know where this comes from, oh, look at that, it's even, it, it even has the Hamon, so I'm pretty bummed about the thigh swivel here. Um, being they made it into a real just foot just for standing up, it kind of makes him a bit non articulated. But the cotton sock is awesome. I would love to see that on more samurai toys. So, there you go. So if you guys still are still watching this part of the video, thank you so much. That was TW Toys Sasaki Kojiro with the Nura Sword. So it's my beloved samurai fix. So I got these from uh, Mr. Dodge Labyrintho from Prayer 66. Shout outs. Thanks for the hookup. So Guys, don't forget to subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell for more for more vlogs. I will be posting another big one very, very soon. So, see you, see you, see you, see you. This has been the Cebuano Shogun. See you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.